today, we're gonna to be working on two of the premier machines in aerospace manufacturing, the Heller CP6000 and HF5500. With the combined accuracy, power, and speed of these machines, we're gonna be making one of the premier and most complicated parts in all of manufacturing. Today, we're gonna to be using two of the best and most versatile pieces of work holding available on today's market. The Shunk ML Flex Chuck and the Shunk Vero S Quick Change Pallet System. Now this is just the first operation of this part and it's a prep op so that we can get it on our Vero S Quick Change Pallet. So the first thing we're gonna do is just come in with our Stellram face mill and qualify the top surface of the part. The next thing we have to do is drill our four holes and counter bores and then thread those holes for our Vero S pull studs. Now you may be wondering why we're doing this operation on the CP6000 instead of the HF5500. And the reason is we already had this amazing chuck mounted to one of our pallets here on the CP. Both of these machines have the Siemens control and combined with the amazing mechanics of the machine itself, these things are like Bugattis. Now before we get this part out of the machine, I want to point out that 71% of you watching right now are not subscribed to our channel and that's really hurting my feelings because I'm trying to bring you guys greatness and you're giving me nothing in return. So please like and subscribe. All right, now that we got our face qualified and our four pull stud holes in, it's time to take this thing out of the CP6000 and bring it over to the HF5500. The majority of the work on this part is going to take place here in the HF5500 because it's a horizontal machine and we're going to be able to use gravity to assist with our chip evacuation. If you're wondering what you just saw, that was the stock prep operation for one of the most complicated parts we've ever machined here at Titans of CNC. Now what this is going to end up being is a 24 inch diameter shrouded impeller. Now a normal impeller is hard enough because you have the pressure side and suction side of the blades, you have the shroud surface, you have the hub surface, but with this part we're going to also be adding a full shroud complete with all different kind of fittings and other geometry. That's going to make this part exponentially harder to machine. Now this is a nightmare of a part, but once you reach the pinnacle of your career, these are the types of parts and the types of challenges you're going to start to see. So stay tuned for our next few videos and you'll get to see exactly how we tackle a part just like this one.